Hey Naveen, so I have your resume with me. I hope you are doing great. So tell me about yourself, what exactly you are doing in your current company and how much experience you have, what's your experience in terms of automation? Okay. Well, yeah, I'm having around uh, five plus years okay. of experience into IT and it's totally into uh, QA mm -hmm. and testing. And from last couple of years, majorly I'm inclined towards automation, but I'm very, very well versed with okay. the all the testing methodologies okay. and testing activities and testing practices okay, like great. writing the test cases and covering a really good test coverage okay. preparing the test plan contributing for the uh, testing activities uh, test strategies uh, preparing the POCs and everything and with respect to automation I'm having really good exposure on different test automation tools like uh, very well versed okay. with the Selenium with Java uh, with respect to UI automation mm -hmm. I'm quite comfortable with Cypress and WebDriver IO now with respect to JavaScript Side okay. by side, I'm learning uh, C Sharp okay. and Python also just for my interest, but majorly okay. I'm inclined towards Java. I'm very much comfortable with Java actually. Along okay. with that, I'm having a really good exposure on the backend automation like REST API and the GraphQL automation where mm -hmm. uh, I was, I've been using REST Assured, HTTP Client, Karate, DSL APIs, and very much okay. comfortable with the different third party tools like HTTP okay. Client, Postman, such tools that I've been using mm -hmm. it. And uh, along with that, recently I started working with the GraphQL APIs also. It, okay. We were using GraphQL APIs uh, in my current okay. project as well. And then uh, uh, I got an opportunity to work with the GraphQL API automation as well. Okay. And pretty much comfortable with the performance testing as well. For example, uh, JMeter, Gatling, Loader also a couple of, couple of times and a uh, couple of projects I've been using it. But from last uh, couple of years, majorly I'm inclined towards uh, JMeter and Gatling okay. with the Scala. And uh, with respect to other uh, activities like DevOps activities and SRE activities, uh, I am also having some exposure like uh, uh, cloud activities and uh, deployment, That's build and deployment process. Mm -hmm. I was quite active participate for uh, with respect to automation. Mm -hmm. I was majorly contributing for all the CACD pipelines with respect to Jenkins, uh, GitHub Actions mm -hmm. okay. and uh, Maven, Gradle, okay. build automation tools. And very, very versed with the, uh, you know, GitHub repositories and Git commands and everything. I'm quite comfortable with those things. Okay. Along with that, uh, I'm having really good exposure on, um, uh, you know, set up the infrastructure end to end. Mm -hmm. uh, either it is uh, running okay. your test, uh, or test cases on the cloud environment, maybe AWS cloud or GCP or Microsoft Azure, mm -hmm. or in the local environment also, I can set up, I can procure the machine, what kind of machines, what kind of infrastructure mm -hmm. that you need. Okay. So that is the kind of exposure and experience okay. I have. Other than that, some other uh, activities like uh, SonarQ, white box testing, unit testing, I was also participating for that. I am uh, uh, slowly started working with the uh, uh, React and Angular applications also where exactly I was contributing for my UI uh, development uh, process also, activities also I was doing over there in my current project. Mm -hmm. uh, in the recent current project, I was handling a couple of things, uh, majorly participating in terms of automation, mm -hmm. okay. converting those manual test cases into automation okay. if it is applicable for that and uh, checking out what exactly good coverage that we have executing the report publishing it and checking how many test cases are getting passed okay. and fail and find out the reason why oh, our test case is getting failed so that we can make it stable as much as possible okay so that is the current roles and responsibility and uh, exposure i have in terms of testing and automation other than that i'm having a very okay. good exposure on the <clears throat> agile based systems okay. and uh, i've been using uh, zira uh, rallies and uh, very much comfortable with uh, agile and we were having okay. two weeks of a sprint and then i know how to work okay. within the sprint closely working with oh, different stakeholders true. qa team dev team and the product owners as well okay. So that is the kind of exposure and experience I have in terms of testing and in terms of test automation. Mm -hmm.